Hello, welcome back to the layout. Now today you join me for a review of the Hornby R4526 operating mail coach. This is coach number 849. And here she is. So inside the box, what do we get? Well, first of all, we get the coach, then we get the operating pieces, which of course is the drop-off shelter, and bring the focus to the background, and the pickup just here. We also get two ramps, one of which you can see here, and the other one is underneath the train in the middle. There is then a set of simple instructions. how to fit it, rig it up and get it running. So let's have a closer look. Starting off with the Nightmail coach itself, otherwise known as the TPO, Travelling Post Office. We start at the left and first off we have the corridor connection. At the end the buffers underneath and the NEM tension lock coupling. We then have the number here which is 849 and of course we have the gold lining again in between the chocolate and cream. At the top then we have some windows. Uh, these are glazed windows so they have a nice realistic effect. Then if we have a look at the bogey then, you can see we have various bits of detail. So we have the axle boxes, the wheels, various springs, nuts and bolts, and lots of riveting going on there too. So moving further down then. There we go. First off we have the main doors for getting in and out of the coach here. And these little bits of detail here are where the mail bags would have been hung off to drop off the post. We then have a nice crisply applied uh, name here, which is the Night Mail. We also have the Great Western Railway logo here, which again is very nicely applied. Underneath then there is some underframe details. We have the main frame here, which of course would have been some sort of metal steel frame, perhaps. Then we have various bit boxes and bits and pieces. These two hooks underneath will go into more detail about later on. At the far end of the coach then, we have another set of doors here, which also have um, drop-off hooks for the post. And then at the end here we have two doors or hatches. There you go, bring that into focus. And these are activated by the hooks under here. Looking at the actual pickup and drop-off mechanism then, first of all we have the pickup hook here with the ladder going up to it. And as you can see I've just put a piece of post or a post bag on here to show you what it looks like. Then in the box we get uh, two of these ramps which operate the hooks that you saw underneath the coach. Further down then you can see we have the drop off shelter. Just zoom you into that. As you can see it's just a made up of a plastic green hut. And I just put two of the posts in there. And then of course we have the second ramp just here. At the front then you can see what the post bag looks like. So it's just a plastic moulding box at the bottom with a hook at the top. So without further ado let's get this onto the track and see how it operates.
there she is, the Nightmare coach behind the Great Western Diesel Rail car number 22. All ready to go. I've got the post system rigged up. So let's have a look at some running shots. And there we go. So hopefully you enjoyed the few running shots just there of the Nightmare coach in operation on the layout. So in all it's a lovely model and as you can see it runs very nicely. A bit of a click and a clack as it goes over so I'm thinking of putting a bit of pad inside the box just here where it picks up to soften the sound. But on the whole, as I said, it's a really nice model and it works perfectly with no fault to find. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of the Hornby Nightmare Coach. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Bye.